my name is Lindsay from Paper Hearts Planner Co and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install your Paper Hearts shortcut so your Apple links will work in your digital planner. If you are going to use the Apple shortcut links included in your digital planner from Paper Hearts Planner Co, you are going to need to install this shortcut first. So let me show you how to do it on your Apple device. If you are an Apple user and you want to be able to use the Apple shortcut in your digital planner, before you can ever do that, you need to install the shortcut. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to the settings on your iPad, go to shortcuts, and then enable private sharing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our settings and then go to shortcuts. So we're going to scroll down here to get to shortcuts right here. And then we're going to make sure that we have private share enabled. So we're going to turn that on. Now you can turn this off after we do this. Now we can go back to our planner and we're going to go to this Apple shortcut links page and we're going to click here to enable the paper heart shortcut. It's going to ask if you want to open this external link and you're going to choose yes. And then it's going to ask you to install the shortcut. So now it's going to pop up and it's going to hit set up shortcut. Now it's going to ask you what app you're using. It's going to automatically pop populate to GoodNotes. If you are using a different app like NoteShelf or Zoom Notes or something, you're going to want to change that to that app. And then you're just going to choose add shortcut. Now it's going to install. So now if you go to your shortcuts, you will be able to see it here. All shortcuts. There we go. And it has this paper hearts shortcut. Now, if you had a 2024 Paper Hearts Planner and you had a shortcut installed, that shortcut will no longer work for your digital planner for 2025. You do need to install this brand new shortcut so the Paper Hearts Planners shortcut is not going to work for your new planner. You are going to have to have the Paper Hearts shortcut. So that is how you install your shortcut and now when you go to your planner and you go and choose any of these Apple links, it is going to run that shortcut and it's going to pop up and give you these options of what you want to do, whether you want to do um, add an event to your Apple calendar, your Google calendar, or if you want to set a reminder. So that is how you use your Apple shortcut for the 2025 Paper Hearts Digital Planners.